Hello and welcome to our channel. Today I have a really exciting topic to talk about and that's what is a good domain name. Oftentimes my friends and clients ask me for some help with uh, picking a great domain name for their business and uh, a lot of times they pick a domain name that might not really be the best in their specific case. They often make mistakes that they will have to pay for in the future. So in this video I want to give you uh, some great tips on how to pick a great domain name and be sure that it will work for you. So the first and most important part is to, to get a good domain name extension. Uh, what I mean by that is that uh, what comes after your domain name. So for example, mycompany.com. So you wanna make sure that you get the .com domain name extension, uh, even if you're not planning on using it. For example, in Canada, we have a domain extension .ca, which stands for Canada, and it makes sense for a lot of Canadian companies to use .ca. And the best part about it is that there are still so many great domain names still available. And this is the trap that most people get into. So like I said, you want to try to get the .com for your business. But what I mean by getting a .com even if you're not using it. So for example, you're running a Canadian company and you're getting a .ca extension. Be sure to get the .com as well. Uh, if it's taken, try to get a different name. The problem is, uh, let's say you, you start a company that is located in Canada and you serve only Canadian clients for the time being uh, and you're locked to your .ca and everything is great. But in the future you might want to start selling online or you might want to extend your business to United States, to Europe, Asia, whatnot. And uh, you will still be locked to that .ca name. So the best strategy would be to get a .com domain uh, and use .ca, .fr and others. Uh, and other regional uh, domain names for your benefit, but not uh, being locked into a specific domain uh, extension. Also, a lot of times you might find that .com is already taken, you're not able to purchase it or the price for it is around a couple thousand dollars and you cannot afford that at the moment, and so you go for .ca or .something else. And because of the .com popularity, a lot of times it's really hard to find a really good domain name for your company, and so you end up buying um, some other random uh, domain extension. Either your desired domain is already taken or it's a premium domain and someone is reselling it and the price for it comes around a couple of thousand dollars. You cannot afford that at the moment so you decide to just go with .ca and you're fine. But what might happen in the future is one of your competitors can purchase that .com domain and use it to screw your company. They can use that domain to just uh, redirect traffic to their uh, website and just basically steal your customers. There are also a lot of scammers online that can uh, use that domain name uh, to steal credit card information from your customers that will think that this is your website. They can copy your design completely and whenever a visitor goes to your, your mycompany.com instead of .ca, they will think that they are still on that website. They will and enter their credit card information or some other personal information that will get stolen. And you don't want that bad reputation be associated with your brand. So I'm not saying that you shouldn't go for .ca or .to or .fr or any other crazy domain name extensions like .agency or .photography. Those are all great, but I would suggest to use .com as your primary main domain. Um, if you're not planning on using it, just keep it as a backup and use those crazy domain name extensions for maybe some uh, specific cases or maybe as a URL shorteners for your business, etc. Also, one more thing when when getting a fancy domain name extension like dot, uh, .agency, dot .media, dot .photography, etc. is that a lot of people never heard of them and so they might not understand that uh, mycompany.photography is the URL, is the domain name. And also some uh, software like uh, some messengers or email clients might not understand that that was a URL, that was a domain name and they will not turn the text uh, mycompany.photography or mycompany.agency into a URL. Also in case with business cards and some other printed media, if you print uh, mybusiness.com on it, uh, people will understand that that's a web address they are going to have to put in their browser. But if you put uh, mybusiness.agency or .media.photography, uh, you will have to explain them that that's a URL. So you're going to have to say this is a website or put a small icon that will explain that this is a domain name just to be sure. Another thing to keep in mind is the .co extension zone. While it's getting more popular these days, it's still nowhere as near uh, as a .com extension. And so if you're gonna uh, just verbally say to somebody that your website is mybusiness.co, uh, they might think that that's a .com and that, that domain name might be taken, that might be some random company. 
as well as if you put that on a business card some people might think that dot com is the dot com was just a typo on a business card and so just to uh, not get that confusion with your customers try to avoid that domain name uh, domain zone for now um, eventually we'll get more popular and so it'll be easier for people to understand but I've seen it so many times where people would come up to a person and say hey you have a typo in a business card or whenever they trying to use that uh, web address they still put the dot com because they're so used to that that's like a mechanical memory where they were just uh, if they're putting the CO they will put the M because dot com is so huge all right now that we understand what domain zone to pick let's go to your domain name uh, so one of the most important parts about it is getting it as short as possible uh, in 2019 you can already forget about getting a three or four letter uh, domain name most of those are taken and the, the ones that are still available and not being used with some companies they go for thousands of dollars sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars so it's not the best idea these days the domain name that ranges at around 10 15 characters is still absolutely normal but try to get it as short as possible depending on your business name etc but you don't want to get a domain name like condo cleaning service in toronto area best affordable price .com. There's just so many problems with extra long domain names. There's a much higher chance of typos. It's a lot harder to remember those domain names and uh, they will look ridiculous on your business cards and some printed formats. So try to get that domain name up until 10 to 15 uh, characters, depending obviously on your business name, you might go shorter, the shorter the better. So a really good idea is to use keywords in your domain names when possible. Uh, what I mean by that? So for example, if there's a law firm called uh, Smith and partners the obvious domain choice would be smithandco.com or something like that but you might consider getting a domain name like Smith criminal lawyers or criminal lawyers toronto.com the reason for this is that Google still gives a lot of points to those uh, websites that have matching domain names so that will really help with your SEO all right let's move on to something else so what are some of the uh, characters that you shouldn't use in your domain names so uh, while you are not able to use so many um, special characters in your domain names, you can still use numbers and hyphens. So for example, you know the company called Five Guys, it's a popular burger chain. Uh, so the domain name that they pick for their company is fiveguys.com and they also have the .ca, which is great. But let me ask you this, whenever I say fiveguys.com, what do you envision in your, in your mind? In most cases, people envision the actual number five. And whenever they hear fiveguys.com, they will print five, guys.com and they that company they don't own that domain and that's a huge problem uh, so if you actually have to use uh, numbers in your domain names try to get uh, five guys.com as well as five guys.com uh, just to be sure that you, whenever users try to use any of these uh, domains they will still get to your domain uh, to your website but you have to understand that this doesn't mean that you shouldn't use uh, numbers in any other cases. So for example, if you're, if you're building a website for some specific reason uh, and using that number as a keyword would be a good idea, you should absolutely do that. So for example, a domain name like elections2020 or 2019 is a really good domain name because it will help you get that SEO boost. So if you're building websites about elections in uh, Canada in 2019, uh, a domain name like uh, elections2019.ca would be perfect because you will uh, get benefit over your competitors because even your domain name screams about the topic that you want to talk about. Hyphens are also really tempting to use when picking a domain name because uh, a lot of great domains already taken and if you put a hyphen in between two words then all of a sudden that domain name is available and you're so happy and you, and you pick that one. But the problem with it is that uh, because hyphens are not really popular inside of domain names, but you might end up in a situation where your domain name like website-design.com, so you might end up in a situation when your users uh, misplace that hyphen or completely forget about it, especially if you have more than two words in your domain name. So my recommendation would be to uh, avoid uh, hyphens as much as possible. Then again, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't use them. Um, for example, uh, like I mentioned in the case with uh, elections2019.ca, if, uh, if that domain name is already taken and uh, there's no one using it at the moment and they're not planning on using it, it might be a good idea to use election-2019.ca and use that domain for that one year because so it makes sense to get that cheaper uh, domain name with a hyphen 
use it for one year and then just get rid of it. And last but not least is you have to do your research. So even before registering your company name, if let's say you're starting a new company, you have to do a research before getting a name for your company. First, you need to look for available domain names. For example, if you want to start a company called Computers, then obviously computers.com is going to be taken. And, and if you're located in Toronto and you want to use computerstoronto.com, that domain might also be taken. So a good idea is to use a unique name and take your time, spend some time on a research, come up with some unique name and look for some available domain names on the market and only then pick your company name. Another not so obvious tip is when you're picking some unique name for your company, uh, do your research on that word because you might come up with some creative, nice sounding word and all those domains for it are available and you'll be really, really happy about it. But the problem with it is that uh, while it sounds really nice, it might mean something crazy, either in slang in your language or maybe in some other languages. So do your research, Google that word, use Google Translate to translate it into some of the languages that matter to you, maybe your customer base, etc. Maybe use um, Urban Dictionary. It has a lot of uh, definitions of those slang words. So you, you might not be familiar with a lot of them and you don't want to be in a situation where your words mean something bad, especially if you have a younger audience. So now knowing all this information, it might be really hard for you to pick a great domain name because you're not going to use numbers, hyphens, you're not going to use some uh, domain name extensions, etc. So in the future video, I will explain how to find those great domain names. I will show you some tools, some services that I use when I'm looking for domain names for my companies or my friends or clients. And I will show, share all these tips with you so it will be so much easier for you to find them. All right, thank you so much for watching this. I really, really appreciate it. Hit that like button, subscribe to our channel. We're gonna be sharing so many more great tips on how to build your business online. Thank you.